Hello and welcome to Jamie TV. This is a completely spontaneous stream. Um, I'm not expecting anyone to be watching this. If anyone joins me in the chat, that would be awesome. But um, what's happened is last night someone asked a question in the in one of the Facebook iOS groups, and uh, they were asking about Core Gadget. Hey Ed. Now then, thanks for joining me. I wasn't expecting anyone to join me. Um, what it is, is this person was asking, can you send MIDI to Korg, Ga to Korg Gadget, if I can say it properly? And yes, you can. And you can also send MIDI from Korg Gadget into other things, right? Now, this guy asked this question, and so... I had a pissy pants around with it on my iPad and I did him a real quick rough video and uploaded it for him. Now I've not used Core Gadget for about two years because I kind of fell out with it, you know, because I like it, I like what it does, but I can't record audio into it in an ideal way and I can't use it with any of my other AUV3s. So I um I kind of in in making this rough little video I um I kind of fell back in love with Core Gadget. So, as it's turned out, I've got just under an hour free. And uh because somebody's not turning up for a guitar lesson tonight. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to have a pissy pants around with Core Gadget and get this whole MIDI implementation thing set up. And then I thought you know what, I'll, I'll just stream it, right? I'll just do it live. I'll probably make loads of mistakes. And if I do, I'll delete it. But if not, you know, it might be helpful to someone on YouTube. So so let's have an arse around with it. Um, thanks for joining me, Ed. You seem to be the only one for now. So thank you for being here. Right. So as you'll see, oh, Sam. Sam, thanks for joining me. All right. So I've got this... Uh, AUM thing open and, and all I've got so far is I've got DRC. I opened it up and then I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to stream this. So I've not even got as far as choosing a sound. So first thing I need to do is I'm going to add Core Gadget and I have to add it as interrupt audio sadly because it's not a uv3 so let's just type in up here gadge there we are open up gadget right now i'm going to start off sending midi from gadget into aum so let's pick a sound for drc we'll do something We'll do something kind of spacey. Maybe there's some nice bassy type of arps in DRC. Let's see if we can find one. So I will go to my window. We're going to sounds from outer space. And if I select arps, it'll reduce my list down to uh, oh, submarine transmission. Ooh. Hey, Josh, thank you for being here for my spontaneous, unplanned, unadvertised stream. It's kind of nice. I'm not sure it's really what I want. Stuttering up. That might work. I want to use both though now. All right, I'm going to leave it on that for the minute and we'll go over to Gadget. Now, Gadget. Uh, I've completely forgotten how to use it. So um, we'll go to here. And what I need to add is not one of the instruments, but we need to add this one. Oh, actually. I, I'm on the wrong screen, my apologies. 
Uh, there we go. Uh, why didn't anyone say anything? Jamie, you stupid old hippie. You're on the wrong screen. We don't want to just look at you. Okay, so so here we are um, looking at the screen. And this is, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, Taipei? Taipei? I, I don't know. Um, pronunciations in the chat, please. Right, so we press on that one. Now, all this one does, it sends MIDI. And it doesn't just send MIDI notes, it sends CCs as well. So I think, potentially, if you were using something like maybe Melody Bud or Snake Bud, um, and you were using multiple patterns, maybe you could send the CC message to move the pattern on. That's not something I've pissy panted around with yet, but it's something I should do. All right, so what we need is we need to send a note. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the note in first. Um, if I go an octave down from there. All right, that sounds all right. I think that might be a C3. So, in fact, five, four, yes, that'll be a C3. So... If I can remember how to use Gadget, we'll go down to C3 here, and I'm on Draw, so I should be able... Oh, no, I don't want a short little note like that. Function. I always expect Function to be up here, and it's down there. Um, we've got one bar. I think that'll do me. Uh, let's make it a bigger note. I'll shove that in. And then if I go to Select, I think I can... Drag that out. Why is that not working? There we are. All right, so now I've got one bar. But if I press play, then of course nothing's going to happen because Gadget is not connected to DRC in AUM yet. Right. Tai P Taipei pronounced like day. Taipei. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with that, Ed. Because I don't know if you're right or not, so I'll just say that. Right. So um we go into Taipei um by pressing this here. And I need to go to settings. And now I've got an output drop down list. Maybe I should use this mouse that's over here and not switched on because I'm obviously completely unprepared for this spontaneous stream. There we are. I've got a mouse on the iPad now. Um, so if I go to Taipei, Taipei. Okay. Thank you, Sam. Sam usually knows. So I'll I'll go with that. Right. So I'm going to go to AUM in this list. And I'm going to select channel 1. And then I shall come out of there. Still not hearing anything. Now I go back to AUM. And I think what I do is connect gadget here. No? That's not right. That's incorrect. I go to my burger icon at the side of DRC and I select AUM destination. I'm going to channel filter it to channel 1. Okay, so now we've got Taipei in gadget sending MIDI to DRC in AUM. I'm going to go back to Gadget and I'm going to change my tempo I think that's better I think I'm feeling that I'm feeling that okay so what shall we do now um, we'll get another sound 
right? So now what I have to do is use this mouse here, right? So what I have to do is I have to um, use the transport in gadget. Oh, that's nice, right? So I have to play and stop. And also, I'm using loop, because I've only got one bar of music. Um, so we do all of that inside of Gadget. So when I go back to AUM, there's no point in me pressing play here. That's not going to do out. Let's grab another synth. Um, another favorite of mine is, is Bliss Alpha because it's magic. So I'm going to go to Bliss Alpha and first thing we'll do is select a sound. I'll just connect my keyboard to Alpha. Right, now I think because we're using AUM Destination in this, my keyboard is probably going to trigger both keyboards so I'll just mute DRC right now let's find something we can use in here um, if I go to all and pads and we'll find take that octave down off so, apologies I forgot to turn the volume down my bad. Okay. There is one. Um, I meant to do a track with ages ago. It might be this one. Yes. Hey Audible, welcome to my completely spontaneous unplanned stream. Funny thing about streaming is actually it's kind of addictive and I was just going to have a go at pissing and pantsing around with, with gadget and AUM and MIDI connectivity and stuff and thought, you know, I'm going to do it live. I tried to get it um, ready for seven, uh, did a flyer and everything, but I weren't quite ready for seven. But I thought, you know what, I've got well, I've got half an hour left. I better crack on. Shut up, Jamie. Stop talking. Let's use Fallen City. I think. I think that sound is good. Right. So now, this is going to need to be AUM destination, and I'm going to make it uh, MIDI channel two. Then we'll go back to gadget. And we'll open another, what did Sam call it? Tape? We'll open another tape. You'll see that I've only got what gadget comes with. I've not bought any other gadgets because I just sort of fell out with the fact that I couldn't use gadget the way I wanted to. I'm sort of suddenly enjoying it, you know, so um, let's do the settings straight away. We'll go select AUM and channel two and come out of there. And then, right, um, I'm just going to put some notes in. I'm going to want more bars than this. Let's go to function and we'll select eight bars is that how it works I mean, some of it is starting to come back to me right so uh we'll start off with a c5 i guess right so draw uh c5 yep and then i think i can uh c F. CFAC, 
We'll go with CFAC. I think that should sound right. Right? F. Then. An A over here. And then a C. There. Right, go to select. And then we'll select all of these. Drag them all out and make them bigger. No, don't do that. Do that. That's it. I think that's worked. Let's just check. Okay, right. So let's see if that's working. Oh, right. It's working. Okay, now, so far, only the MIDI is coming from Gadget. Unmute this one. Kind of pleased with myself because it worked. Okay, um, right now, next thing, if we wanted to use um, a synth inside of Gadget, right, we can do that too. So um, let's grab. Tell you what, we'll go with the futuristic drum module. I can't say the name of that one either. Um, and all I want here is I just I think I just want a kick let's just go with the whoa yeah forgot to turn the volume down again uh my mixing desk is there right okay right uh there's a kit there's a kit in here that I, I really like a glitchy one it's sort of really Maybe it's lo-fi. Hmm, I'm not sure that's it, but I like that. Breaks. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to go with breaks. Hmm. Nope. I'm gonna go with Li-Fi. Lo-Fi. Lo what's li what's Li-Fi? Happy hippie. Yeah, I did some it and it worked first time. <laughs> no unplugging anything and plugging it back in or switching it off and on again. It worked. But the more difficult bit is yet to come. And I really must crack on. I don't want to um, encroach on Doug's time. Uh, by the way, I did check before I did this stream, uh, Vortex is away, because Vortex normally streams on a Wednesday, but he's on holiday, and um, I did check that Jakob wasn't streaming tonight, um, I had a little chat with him earlier, um, and uh, and no, he's, he's still on secret covert missions that I'm not allowed to tell you about, so he's not streaming this evening. So, okay, stop talking crap, man. Um, let's just throw a couple of kicks in, I don't know, like a, uh, let's play it. Oh, it's set to eight bars. So now, what I might just do 
I'm just gonna just gonna solo this kick. And in here, if I remember rightly, we've got internal effects, which is a bloody good job seeing as how you can't use your AUV3s. Thank you, Cog. Right? Um and then we'll choose decimator edit i want to glitch this up even more bring the sample rate down and the bit rate there we are there's i just want kind of like a bit of a sci-fi landscape kind of a sound maybe bring the mix down that slightly so we can still get a bit of thump of that kick right back out of there and send some reverb I wouldn't normally put reverb on a kick unless it's sci-fi all right on solo Alright, okay. I'm, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that. Okay, right. So that is. Oh, and actually, let me just show you. I'll just press play. I love how it gives you a countdown. I do love that about Gadget. I love a lot about it. Some things about it disappoint me. Right, so the audio from Gadget is coming down the gadget channel and MIDI is coming to these two synths let's just put everything in order yeah. Techno rumble, duck reverb on kicks. Yeah, um, it's not something I know very much about myself. I, I can't pretend that I do, but I have watched a lot of Dean's streams and kind of actually in doing that started to understand that kind of music production. Uh, you know, music production from a very different point of view. And it's very interesting to me, you know, coming from a, a rock background where you would you wouldn't put reverb on a kick i mean why would you do that that's insane um but it depends what kind of music you're making and as i the more the older i get and i'm pretty ancient now um sam you're just slightly behind me aren't you um i uh the more the older i get the more i like you know okay stop waffling hippie and uh, show them the next idea. I hope this bit works, because that worked really well. Okay, so we're sending MIDI down tape. Hey, hey Gary, <laughs> thanks for being here. Um, it wasn't a planned stream, Gary, so there's no punishment for not being able to watch the whole thing. It's cool. Yeah, I'm 50, 2nd of February. Groundhog Day, it is. Um, okay, and then we've got the audio from this drum machine. Now, what we want to do is we want to send some MIDI from AUM into Gadget. Does that sound like madness? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a, a module in Gadget to send some MIDI to. So I think Phoenix, because it looks cool. And uh, I'm just gonna go into it and just grab a preset, see if I can see one that um, I used to like when I used to use it. Uh, nothing's leaping out at me um, of course I can do this the other way around I can do this later 
but um, mm, no, nothing's really. I'll just grab one. I'll just grab a sound so that I've got a sound to work with. Hey, Dave, thanks for being here. This is a completely unplanned stream, totally spontaneous, not advertised. I just did it. So I've got a sound. It's definitely not the right sound. Uh, that might do us. Something like that is the kind of thing. Right, um, let's just turn that down. That's going to be super loud. Right, now I'm going to go back to AUM. And I want something that's going to produce MIDI down here. So um, MIDI processor. Let's go with Melody Bud because it's nice and quick. Um, 47 again in March. Well, yeah. Oh, you wish you were 47 again in March, Dave. Gary's 47 in March. Oh, yeah, right, great. Yeah, rub it in Gary. Uh, <laughs> not jealous at all. Right, I'm going to press play. Nothing will happen yet at all, but I'm going to throw some notes into this box just so that I know when something successfully happens. I'm going to make my MIDI channel channel 4. And I'm going to go to here and connect Melody Bud to Gadget. <laughs> Now, you'll hear that what's happening there is that Melody Board is actually playing all the instruments that we currently have open. And I think that is because um, the MIDI that comes out of Gadget, I could be wrong about this, but I think it's because the MIDI that comes out of Gadget goes via AUM destination. And so, without getting bogged down with the technicalities um, we need to go and switch some MIDI inputs off it's easier to show you than than explain so I'll go to core gadget and then I go to type I down here where it says all use your mouse right all right let's have a close-up of the iPad since now I've got one, might as well use it so you can see this nice and clearly. There, close up. We don't have to look at my ugly mug for a minute. Right, now I'll use my mouse and I'll go down here to all. Right, now the inputs we don't need. Tape is simply sending MIDI out. Don't need to receive anything, so we'll go down to no input. And again on this one, we just... Go down to this button where it says, currently says all. Go to all ins, no input. And then, I think we might be good. So I'll go back to AUM. And we'll just press play in AUM. Right, okay, that's good. So it's just playing that, what's Sam saying? It's usually worth reading. Yeah, yeah, Sam, um, I remember enabling that uh, some time ago. Um, and the nice thing about Gadget is that uh, the, whatever state it's in, when you shut it down, it, it saves it. So if you change a setting, anything like that, 
when you open it up again, it'll be set that way. And like I say, I've not used it for about two years, but I remember enabling that. So yes, that is on, uh, but good point. So as Sam says, to do this kind of thing, in Gadget, go to the cog wheel, enable advanced MIDI. Right, now, uh, best thing to do next. Right, so I've got some, yeah, we'll press play. Let's go into melody board. And come up with a sequence that does not suck. Ah. Aha. I should have done this. For the drums as well. Okay. So apparently I'm not perfect. Right. Okay. Right. I'm going to throw some notes in here. Um, I want a much longer sequence. just want something a bit random sounding so um, I'm gonna leave that above and uh, let's see go with some random notes at the end Make it all random. Hmm. Probability 100%, but with these ones, reduce the probability. So these ones won't sound every time. So individually reduce the probability. Like that. Okay. And then all right so something to make note of at this point is melody board will begin to play will begin to send these MIDI notes when I play the transport in AUM so at that point when I press play, it will send that MIDI to Core Gadget. But everything else will only play when I press play in Core Gadget. But because I've got the Ableton link switched on, which I believe I forgot to mention, right? Make sure you've got your Ableton link switched on. And then the whatever tempo you set in Gadget will act as master. And when you reopen the project later, after you've remembered to save it, and you reopen it again, it will ask you in AUM whether you want to allow Gadget to change the tempo to what you had in your project, right? So, um, so let's just play this. Go into Gadget and press play in there. We have an arse around with this sound now. There's some flanging going on. Um, spread that out. Lots of feedback, I think. Slow, slow feedback. Slow modulations just make me happy. Ateo, thanks for being here, buddy. Okay, right, and I like that, I like that. <laughs> 
We'll put that higher in the mix. Okay. Right now. Back out of there. Oh, there's a delay. Right, okay, let's have the left time. Ah, yeah. Twice as fast as the right. So that would be doing some very simple maths has really thrown me here. struggling with that. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. To explain the deep mind. Ah. Hmm. Don't know. I'm a bit a bit funny about Behringer stuff myself. I'm not snobbish at all about the gear or the copies or anything. It's just they're not very nice people. So I've never done any Behringer stuff on my channel. But then I joined a band who've got an X Air and it's brilliant. So, you know. Okay, unsolo that now, I think. That's all sounding good. Okay, I'm just going to give you a close-up of the screens and what's going on. I search. I pressed the wrong button. There we go.
All right, so, um, unplanned stream, totally spontaneous, mostly went fairly smoothly. <laughs> Some of those first couple that I did when I first moved over to streaming with the PC were absolutely disastrous nightmares. <laughs> so, maybe that's the answer. I just shouldn't plan anything. I should just do it. Uh, so, I didn't expect anyone to join me at all. So, um, thank you ever so much for actually being here. I really appreciate that. That's been fun. And um, thank you, Sam, for your help. And um, help with the pronunciation, Ed. Very much appreciated. All right. So, I hope that that's been reasonably clear and reasonably helpful. Hi, Jim. I'm just winding up. I'm just going to say bye-bye because Doug will be streaming in a minute. All right. So, I'm just going to clear off and grab some coffee, have a fag, and then I'll be back in here in a couple of minutes to watch Doug's stream while I get my Patreon stream for the morning ready. So, thanks ever so much for being here. Take good care of yourselves and keep making lots of music. Be good people. And try not to pissy pants about and don't laugh at me while I look for the button that ends the stream. <laughs> See you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.